Hey everybody, it's Patrick. And today we're going to talk about another vintage land. Surprise, surprise. This time we're talking about the Konica Hexanon 40mm 1.8 Prime Land. This is a pretty cool lens. It's cheap. It's excellent quality. Highly available. And produces wonderful images. I'll start off with the cons of this. And the, the one con is pretty much obvious. That it's not the most well-built, pretty much made of plastic. It doesn't have a metal housing. But if you can get past that and give it a try, I think you'll be pleased with the results. 40 millimeters is a really good focal, focal length for me. I really like it. You know, it's it's not too wide and it's not too tight. And I, I just love this lens. It's the only, I think it's the only 40 millimeter lens I have. I've been slowly but surely building up my Konica Hexanon collection. And people know about how good they are, but it hasn't really reached the frenzy of like Canon FD or uh, you know, like ours or Mamiya 645 lenses yet. Yeah, you know, I mean, anything can happen. Some footage of this lens with a Sony A7S III uh, that I, on a recent trip, and I just think it's wonderful. So check it out. I think I paid maybe 80 bucks for it? Maybe 80 bucks? I can't remember. It was a great copy. If you're dealing with vintage lenses a lot, you'll see that sometimes they have imperfections. Not just imperfections compared to modern glass, but imperfections due to age. Like some will have maybe some fungus spots or some dust in the lens. Dust is not something you should worry about too much, unless it's like super, super dusty. It's not going to affect your image too much. And also fungus, depends on where it is, it's not going to affect your image, but there are easy ways to clean it if you have if you have a vintage lens that's easy to get into and access and service, which is Konica Hexanot 40mm 1.8 is. It's easy to open it up and service the lens if you know what you're doing and using the right tools. Like anything, it's scary to open up a, a, a lens to clean it, but if you do your research and use the proper tools, then it's not that big of a deal. You know, as long as you're not opening up some super rare lens that you should really be sending to a service center, uh, like a trained professional to clean, you can pretty much service and clean and maintain these vintage lenses as long as you're, like I said, using the proper tools and doing the proper research on how to do it. It's, it's not really not that hard. This lens is pretty great. It's my favorite, one of my favorite Hexanon lenses. I'm probably going to do some more videos about other Hexanon lenses, uh, about the Konica line. So stay tuned for that. And so thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.